Hey guys, Ben Taylor here and welcome to today's video. Today's tutorial is all about Aperture. Today you're going to learn how to use it and what you can use it for. So without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. So what is Aperture? Well basically put, Aperture is the size of the hole in your lens in which light comes into the camera. The bigger the hole, the more light is let in. The smaller the hole, the less the light is let in. Though the Aperture is actually controlled in the lens when it opens and closes, you actually physically control this in camera. And you can do this in a few modes. You can do it in Aperture Priority Mode, where you can control the Aperture, but then the camera decides the ISO and the shutter speed for you. Alternatively, you can do this in Manual Mode, which means you've got control of all three key components of exposure yourself. The lower the Aperture number, the more light is let into the camera, but the higher the aperture number, the less light that comes in. So to best understand this, take a look at these two pictures. The picture with the higher aperture number has less light in it, whereas the picture with the lower aperture number has more light in it. I have a really persistent wasp which keeps dive bobbing my head. I think he's taking vengeance on me for taking his area. Each lens is identified with an aperture number. So this lens now is an aperture number of f4. Whereas this one is an aperture number of f1.8. So now you've got to grips with what aperture is, how can you use aperture to get some delicious looking photos? Aperture controls something called depth of field. To understand depth of field, take a look at these two photos. The first picture is a picture of a landscape. The landscape is completely in focus and sharp from the foreground all the way through to the background. This was taken with F16. Now take a look at this picture of a beautiful woman. The foreground, which is the woman herself, is perfectly in focus, but the background is very blurred and out of focus. This really draws your attention into the subject in the foreground. This image was taken with an aperture of f1.8. So depth of field allows you to control what parts of your image are in focus, and this can give you some great creative results. It's also possible just by changing the aperture in your camera. So that's Aperture wrapped up. It's actually really simple, right? There's nothing too difficult about it at all. But to really get to grips with Aperture, you need to go out and practice with your camera. So that's what I advise for you guys to do. Get your camera and take action, go out, start taking photos, use the Aperture, move it around, and then really get some experience for what your low and high apertures can do in your images. And I'd love to see some of your pictures. So if you go out and use the information which you've learned in this video, take some pictures and then leave them in the comments area on YouTube so I can check them out and then see what you guys are getting up to as well. Whatever you do today, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all really soon. 